candlestick charts make a much more clear indication of what's occurring in investor sentiment. As we have seen, there has been a wedge formation in the Dow. Today, early, it looked like there was prospects that they were going to break out through the top of the wedge. However, by the end of the day, they had formed a bearish engulfing signal and were trading back into the wedge formation. Based upon what we know should occur after a candlestick bearish signal, the logic tells us that the wedge formation is still in progress or that any buying or selling that we do or going long or going short should be based upon each individual chart. The NASDAQ on Friday's trading had produced a gap up breakout of this resistance level telling us if this continued or we saw confirmation that more than likely we were in wave three. However, today's bearish engulfing signal after a doji gap up tells us they're probably bringing this back also back within the trading range. Candlestick signals and patterns tell you exactly what might happen when going into an earnings report. As we can see in the Amazon chart last week, had a doji right here on the T-line coming out of this fry pan bottom. The prospects were that there could be a breakout based upon what should usually happen coming out of a fry pan bottom. And we saw the results last uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, last Friday, where Amazon reported big earnings. Apple is another example, coming out of the fry pan bottom, supporting on the 50, breaking out through the resistance level in today's trading, telling us that there was still buying going into the close, and now the stock's up another couple points after hours, giving us a good indication that this fry pan bottom is going to have more upside potential. This is not rocket science. This is just common sense and put into graphic depictions that the Japanese rice traders have provided us over the last four centuries, showing what usually occurs in human nature. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.